Hi, I'm Brett Baker. I'm one of the directors at Total Technology Centre. So at Total Technology Centre, when a customer comes on board with one of our programs, it's really a long-term journey from there. We don't have customers. Customers simply buy things. We have clients. I firmly believe that. And clients pay us for good advice. Whenever we meet with a business, we really try and identify the solution. You've probably heard of the saying, think outside of the box. Well, we try and get rid of the box altogether. So one of the main things we try and do is not walk into a business and tell them essentially what they need. We normally just sit back and listen. When we meet with a client, we really try and identify a solution and then work backwards. Normally this can lead with seven to 10 questions that can go in a variety of different ways that will open up a whole new way of how we can actually look at bringing some innovation into their business. Something happened only a couple of weeks ago, a, a business came in here, they're growing, they've got probably about 5 to 15 staff at the moment, they're looking to grow to about 25 to 30. They wanted to come in and buy the latest uh, printers and photocopiers and I thought this is a great opportunity for both parties. When I really sat down and spoke with them and understood where are they actually going with their business, they walked out with six mobile tablets and six little mobile scanners and they spent a fraction of what they actually needed to. So that was really interesting to see and just sitting and talking with a business that thought they needed all these big three A3 photocopiers and printers, but essentially they didn't. People are not essentially looking just to save money. They're looking to improve their business. So if they can improve one part of their department that might mean more revenue in this department, we're finding that sometimes they're spending more. So that's been pretty interesting to seeing that people are looking for ways to improve their business, not essentially just to cut money in staff. So working with a lot of SMEs in the Toowoomba community is a, is a real passion of mine and we see so many amazing things all the time and over the course of a four or five years we're going to meet with your business probably 15 to 25 times and it's guaranteed at least one time a year we're going to bring some sort of innovative new solution or idea to your business that's really going to change the way that you do things. When someone asks me what innovation really is, I had a I had a funny story the other day, I was sitting with a gentleman with his business and he was looking to go paperless with a lot of his archives. And after I finished my presentation, he slammed down the paperwork and he said, Brett, that's fantastic, but what am I going to do with the staples? And I said, Ron, that was the gentleman's name, I don't understand, what do you mean? And he said, well, I've got staples in the corner of the paper, how do I get rid of them? And it slowly dawned on me that this is where the wall was within his business. He wasn't really thinking, but that's okay. So what I simply did was I grabbed the scissors and I dovetailed the paper and then put them back into the scanner and they started scanning. And the look on his face was fantastic. And I said, well, you know, that was innovation. I probably should have charged him for that advice as well. But uh, those sort of things happen all the time where my team sort of sits and we think a little bit differently to what we can actually offer the customer. Normally specialise in printers and photocopiers, they're really our main bread and butter um, photocopy and printer boxes. We really started diversifying to other markets now at the moment, 3D printing, our software business and also interactive smart boards. So we're starting to touch in the way that people collaborate, share and uh, the way that students learn at schools as well, which is becoming really popular. One of the things that we find with customers is, is service response. It's one of the most important things. We actually have one of the smallest technician bases in the marketplace. We also have the most machines in the field. So what that actually tells us, we're putting the right machines in the right locations, so our downtime is very minimal. But what we've actually done is provide a service program that gives customers a same day response, and it's working really, really well. The photocopiers that we've probably seen, is similar to like an iPad. So they're really now, we've got smartphones, and now we have smart photocopiers. Since I've been here the last couple of years, even when the business first started back in 1998, it's just come in leaps and bounds in this industry. I think now we're approaching six million pieces of paper that go through all of our machines every four weeks. So that's roughly about 10 to 11,000 pieces of paper going through our Canon and HP machines. I'm just so excited where this industry is actually heading. I'm so passionate about it. Um, I don't know where we're going. I'm so excited about the unknown. Canon and HP are bringing out some amazing technology that's really just going to disrupt and the way we work is really changing.